Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona, at headquarters of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, buddy? Good. Today, we're gonna continue. It's a bunch of viewers that like shotgun content. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And today we have <laughs> shotgun content. This is my first 590 retrograde, not the A1. And Marty, um, I got this tritium front sight from XX Sights. Mm -hmm. It requires, I read the instructions, which by the way, the instructions are not here. You download them online right. and print them up. And they're pretty simple instructions. But I want Marty to do it because uh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they send you a replacement front bead mm -hmm. and the front side that you have to use JB Weld or Acura Glass, Glass yeah. or one of those high-end two-part epoxies. Mm -hmm. Put it on, clean it, put it on, and yeah. let it dry. Yeah. And how long does JB Weld take to dry? Uh, J uh, depends on which JB Weld you use. I have the 24 hour JB, JB Weld. There is a quick, uh, there is a quick set JB Weld. Acro glass, I think, is un unmoldable within about 20 minutes. Okay. So it usually sets up within a few hours. Um, but uh, yeah, like uh, what, what we have here today sets up within 24 hours. Okay. So it, it, it just depends. Yeah, but. so I won't use the gun in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. that? I yeah. doubt that I will. Yeah. So here it is, make sure it's clear. Clear, clear. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. There we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is replace the front bead. Right. And we won't uh, do that on camera, but yeah. we'll show you how to apply, how to mix a JB weld, and how to apply the front side. We'll tape it in and mm -hmm. wait for it to dry, right? Yeah, yeah, that's one, one way we can do it. Okay. So. <laughs> so I'll have to come back to the shop and, yes. and get it from you. So we'll just pull the barrel off because that's all we need. And there we go. I'll grab that receiver from you. Okay, so now from here, we want to we want to clean the we want to clean this up area this area up a little bit. We installed our we already installed our our bead. It's slightly larger than uh, it's slightly larger than the the one that came off uh, the factory gun. We just grabbed some pliers and just twisted it off real quick, and just twisted this one on. Um, also, if you try to use the if you try to use the original front sight bead, it, it actually won't bottom out. The the sight will not go all the way over the barrel. You see there's a little bit of wiggle in there and that's not really gonna bother anything. But one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna take some emery paper. This is just some medium grit, maybe like uh, 180 grit sandpaper. And I'm just gonna kind of roll this up here a little bit. And I'm just gonna, I don't wanna sand on the barrel because you, you can always miss an edge over here. But one thing I am gonna do is kind of clean up the base here a little bit. And one that gives me a, a roughed up surface for uh, the epoxy to kind of sit down on. Um, and then second, it just cleans any bluing off the bottom you know, it, 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 any sort of uh, uh, imperfections in the base there. And I don't need to be super firm on all this, but I'm just trying to rough up the surface here a little bit. Um, You're just making sure the bond is gonna be better between yes. the two parts. Yeah, right. And you know, like I say, I'm not doing it to the barrel. That would be ideal, but we're also not refinishing it. So, uh, you know, and, and by the way, this is not something that you know, excess recommends that you do, but this is something I, I have a history of just going and saying, all right, uh, I've installed enough shotgun sights. I just, I want a little, a slightly better bond. And of course, if you try to paint over this or something, if you were trying to refinish it, you're, you would never try to repaint over the, the trinium tube itself and, and the site. And these are a pretty cool site. They glow in the dark. I mean, the paint itself glows in the dark, so that's kind of cool. So I've wrapped that up a little bit and just made sure there's no high spots on the, on the corner there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some Q-tips and they recommend using rubbing alcohol. I have some denatured alcohol, it's a little stronger, right? And they're just putting it on a, on a Q-tip here and I'm just wiping the whole area down. And this will evaporate off and I'm gonna do the same thing to the, the site here on the base itself. And as I blow, I, I'm actually blowing on it because it's just evaporating off. You can kind of see the alcohol here on the edge is just, drying off. It's gone already, so. Yeah. So then we're gonna grab JB Weld. JB Weld is a two-part epoxy and you want to use an equal amount of the red tube and the black tube, right? So I don't have a precise measurement on this, like as far as what I'm doing, I'm going, oh, okay, that looks about right. So there we go. That's about, that's well more than I need. 
Yeah, but, that looks like a whole lot. And you do want to get the, the lids back on this pretty quick if you're using JV Weld because uh, it likes to still creep out after, after you're done using it. So that looks about even. And I just have this on a piece of cardboard, right? And just take a popsicle stick, mix. Mix until the whole thing turns gray. Pretty easy. All right, and I might make sure that I got no extra black streaks in here because I want to get it mixed in pretty e evenly. And you said this one will take about 24 hours to dry, right? Yeah, about that. So Originally, uh, I suggested you to use uh, tape, but mm -hmm. you're going to use a different... Uh, I, 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 you could tape this on there. Um, the downside with taping it on is that if you have to clean up anything, um, you can't really see what's underneath. Okay. And so I actually grabbed a second popsicle stick here for a reason because I get a little more detailed with this and I, I usually just kind of twist these. You could do this with a toothpick, by the way. Okay. Um, but I just have an excess amount of popsicle sticks floating around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to fill in this, this hole here, right? I'm just going to get all the excess gap in there. I want all the air gap gone and then I'm going to smooth this out over the base of the, of the site here. This, of course, is going to spread, you know, it's going to spill out. It, it is. And so that's, that's not a bad thing. I, I, I actually want this to kind of spill out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to run this around, around the site, or around the, uh, the front site bead. Um, and Yamil asked me, he goes, uh, hey, should we uh, Loctite in the bead? And it's like, why? The, the JB Weld's going to hold it. <laughs> Oh no! I, it, I, 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 I mean, you can you can. I mean, that's that's overkill. In which case, overkill, you know, yeah, doesn't yeah. doesn't fail, right? Yeah, that, yeah. But if you say it's gonna stay, it's gonna mm -hmm. stay. I've had stuff JB welded for years mm -hmm. and it never comes off. Well, and so one other thing I'm doing is I'm kind of just spreading this out around where this is gonna go, and I kind of have a picture of where this is gonna go, and yeah, I'm putting on a little bit of excess, right? I'm really just trying to spread this out on here to make sure I've got a nice even coating here, right? I don't even care if I have a little bit of exposed because it's going to press everything out. Now, one thing you do want to do is make sure that the orange part is facing the chamber end, right? So the black part is facing the muzzle, right? And then I'm just going to stick it down on here. And it's going to kind of squirt out the sides, and that's fine. Then I'm going to grab a clamp here. I'm just going to come in. And clamp this down. Definitely wants to twist on there. There you go. Okay, so that's tight. So you can see some of the excess coming off of there. And then I'm just going to grab our Q-tips and alcohol and start wiping this off. And you know, I just grab all the Q-tips I can handle here, get make sure that they're, they're wet with alcohol. And whatever is excess, I can wipe off with that JB Weld. Okay, Marty, this looks great. We're gonna leave it there now for 24 hours. I'll come and get the barrel from you later. Mm -hmm. And we'll go take it out to the range and test it. This is really simple to do. This was a piece of cake. Yeah, the, I mean, uh, the longest part is just letting it dry. Yeah, yeah. letting it dry. So I appreciate it, Marty. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And again, guys, like always, please stay healthy, be safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.